very authentic place. Um, they don't even have an English menu. Good morning from Osaka. Oh my god, um, we just arrived yesterday and of course um, first order of business is to go to the convenience store so I'm heading to 7-eleven to grab some breakfast it's pretty good some noodle oh it's been a while gotta try this soon so I'm currently staying in Shinshai Basi um, actually, I really like this area because it's a little bit outside of the center and near the Tonbori. And when I went there last night, when I just arrived, it was very hectic. There's tons of tourists now. Last time I was here was in 2022, so like right after COVID. And yeah, it's nice to see like the tourism definitely picked up. There's just so many tourists now, so if you're coming to Japan, make sure that you have everything prepared. Book an accommodation that's not really at the center, but it's still very uh, convenient um, to get anywhere. So I would say like book somewhere near the station. We are at a local restaurant called Fizz Monster. They stand to go because this is a very authentic place. Um, they don't even have the English menu. Honestly, you see more local people here. What's surprising is now they do have like English menu, so we don't have to speak Japanese to come here. I think like yeah, let's check out the food. Just almost put a little bit at a time uh -huh. and slowly, slowly breaking it up like mixing it. You know? Mix everything? Yeah. It's so good. Uh, don't eat all the rice. Eat the, the rice. Mm -hmm. So they have a Japanese instruction there saying like you don't finish all the rice so you leave it until all the fish or all the seafood are gone and then you can ask for a soup and then eat it with the rice over yeah. yeah mix it, it smells so good all right I'm trying it to Namba. Oh my god, of course we have to make a quick stop at Namba Yasaka Shrine. This is, I'm sure you probably have seen this picture somewhere, but it's the iconic temple with the lion gate, like lion mouth. So this is the iconic lion head and they call it Emaden. this daifuku place which is like a mochi with fruits inside and that was one of my favorite snacks when I came here to Japan two years ago and now I'm in this place and I have this amazing range of daifuku with different fruits I've only tried the one with strawberry inside I have so many options here from each prefecture in Japan so yeah I think it's a good snack for this hot weather I mean like it is pretty hot, especially if you're walking a lot, which it probably will do in Japan. The nicest thing is you can also like people watch here. I wonder what time do people go to work here in Japan because I think around 8 or 9 you see a lot of people heading to work. Summer in Japan is pretty hot. I heard it's gonna go up to 40 degrees today so we'll see how we'll survive but I got an umbrella to survive I think that's a necessity if you're coming to Japan during summer here are the daifuku we have several different um, flavors 
and they also give you a string where you can like cut the daifuku open pineapple is inside so for dinner we are going to get okonomiyaki and we found this restaurant that's highly recommended amongst the local like literally when we were heading to this restaurant um, there are two girls two Japanese girls who were like talking about okonomiyaki in this place so I'm so excited Um, it's basically like tobiyaki, but instead of the cabbage, they replace it with eggs. So it's like mom. Dinner was a success. That was really good. I feel like I don't eat a lot of okonomiyaki, but that one's really good. And the omelette one. What's that? What's the name again? Tepeyaki. Tepeyaki. And also, if you haven't tried tepeyaki, do try it. I, I swear, like, the omelette here in Japan just hit different. So you can like get the yukata set for like 6,400 yen and always bring your passport because you can get tax-free price Going to try Kyoto Yukatsu and they also have this interesting menu where it comes half and half half beef half eel so I'm going to try this one We had a good meal. Now, outside of the shopping street, we just have to turn right and walk to the Nara Deer Park. Oh my god, I just want one deer! So I thought you have to go to the park to be able to see the deer but even here on the on the way to the park it's been a lot of deer and they're just like chilling there on the street like look at them that's coming we have officially made it to Nara Park look at the amount of deer here wow it's a pink Sorry, dude. Now go to the middle. Go to the middle. <laughs> You're like go, sending yeah, me. Yeah, go in right in the middle of it. Look at that, it's begging. There's a lot of deers here and it's also like a huge park. They have two sections, one over here and one on the other side. We bought this like crackers for 200 yen. It's finished in like seconds. But I think if you don't want to get like surrounded in an aggressive way by the deer you should just not get the cracker because even though you don't have the cracker they still come to you and they're more gentle <laughs> Man. 
Look at that deer chilling inside the pot. So there are a couple spots that you don't want to miss, like Kodaiji Temple where we're heading. There's also Mount Wakakusa. Um, basically, it has a good place for sunset and you still can see deer there and then the Kasuga Taisha Shrine, which we're gonna check out. You can just like visit them at once on the same road. <laughs> this deer is about to cross the road too, I guess. Yeah? You wanna cross the road? Ikoka! Been getting an umbrella during summer in Japan is a necessity. Um, Nara is not too hot though, it was still pretty bearable to walk around. So this is kind of like the walking street and they sell a lot of souvenirs and food but even here you can see the deer are chilling so cute So to go inside you need to purchase a ticket and then this is the entrance So the entrance ticket to the temple costs 800 yen but you can also purchase another ticket to go to the museum and it will be like 1200 yen for both. We are going to head back it's probably gonna take two hours by train to go back. I highly recommend you guys to come to Nara if you're in Osaka or um, Kyoto. A day trip is definitely doable. We got here around 11 a.m. and it's currently 5. And we take a lot of places. It's very nice because everything is on walking distance. You can head to like one place to the other very close. Yeah, you don't even have to take taxi or anything. It's just like 11, 12 minutes away from one spot to the other spot and you'll get to see a lot of things on the way. So highly recommend you guys to come and check out Nara. A day trip is totally enough. But yeah, I hope you guys find something interesting. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!